Okay Axis, this one's for you. Let's talk about the unit counter system. Now, when we're talking about the unit counter system, we might be assuming that we need uh, what kind of unit is good against another, or what kind of unit is weak against another. We kind of think about it as the hard counter system. You know, the, the things that makes things a lot easier to manage your units because when, when you see one type of unit and then uh oh this one's good again uh, for example this experiment the hard the, re the only one with a hard counter you see here the libyan spearman it counters cavalry it's an anti-cavalry unit so every time you see a unit like this you want your cavalry to immediately run away or when you see a, an enemy cavalry you bring up these guys and then launch an attack against uh, against raids and that doesn't pretty much exist in zero AD what we have are actually more of a stat countering system meaning we're dependent upon the three basic damage types there will be four a trample damage being planned in, or it's under development it might be implemented sometime in the future but we're, we'll be uh, focusing on the three basic damage types first first is the hat damage okay uh, it it's kind of a uh, slashing or cutting people with swords generally like this guy swordsman and you can put women in it yes they also have their sla hacking damage and you have the second damage type is Pierce, the ones with pointy weapons. Of course, the archers have that. Their bo their arrows have that. Javelins also have that, and also the spearmen because they have pointy sticks. That means they also deal with piercing damage. Maybe Bailey or oh oh yeah, I forgot. In case you're wondering, I arrange the unit types. Accordingly, the infantry will be in front, the siege guys will be on the middle row, and the third are the cavalry, and on the left side are our ranged units, okay, ranged infantry on the front left, uh, ranged cavalry on the front uh, back left, while uh, the melee guys right side, except for the siege engines, okay. So that would be uh, let's just say it's kind of makes me feel uh, I just organized it. Yeah. Uh, hack damage, pierce damage. The third is the crush damage, something that knocks your head over or some destroys buildings. Okay, that it's the main attribute of siege units. The slingers have that uh, crush damage because of course they knock your head and they arguably have even greater uh, damage output than the archers simply because David and Goliath right you remember that one shot in the head he's dead simply because he might not be wearing a helmet or something now we will be talking about uh, what kind of units that have the weakest armor type okay so in our in our search for a countering system that exists currently in 0 AD we are only we're not looking for what type of unit is again a strong against one except for the spearmen of course we're actually looking at what type of damage are each unit weak against so we are looking for weakness and we know what to avoid so when we see an, an enemy unit unit type we will just think this guy is a weak against this kind of damage and so we will pr uh, put out our units with that kind of damage okay <laughs> so that's simply how it works now uh, let's see when we talk about head-on collisions you know, unit types against unit types with no tactics whatsoever, just an all-out brawl. 
the most str hey camel get out of here you're not one of the uh no uh head on collision yeah that's that's what we're talking about the most probable candidate is the the spearman okay every faction has their own anti-cavalry spearman the egyptians the seleucids the macedonians have their long uh, sarissa pikemen their long pikemen uh, uh, the Persians have their shield bearers but yeah pretty much all pikemen have spearmen with them and that's their main anti-cavalry unit and also they have they're generally the most tanky as you can see here it's 132 hit points well kind of refuted myself there but yeah generally they have better armor so we can see that in the stats here the armor is 5 hack armor, 5 pierce armor, 15 crush armor so that's how strong they are compared to a swordsman who has 5 hack, 5 pierce are they the same? 5 hack, 5 pierce so I kinda refuted myself again so the oh yeah it's because it's the pikemen who are the most tanky except that the swordsman don't have anti-cavalry bonus okay i have seen pike if you have seen my persia against ptolemy video man just one pikeman can take so many arrows so when you're dealing with one-on-one -on -one all out brawl generally you have your spearman as a choice there you're uh, they soak up a lot of damage so they will they will be in your front line and they work against almost any type of units, even the ranged ones. Okay, tactics not considered yet, right? The next will be so they work against cavalry and all types of other units. Second, the swordsmen great against siege engines because siege engines have very weak hack armor. And and as and as swordsmen, yeah, cavalry swordsmen too. Oh, and cavalry spearmen, they they don't have anti-cavalry bonuses. If you're wondering why, I don't know. Okay, they they don't work like that. So, swordsmen, anything that has very high ha hacking damage works great against siege engines because siege engines have let's see here, armor. 1 hack, 50 pierce, and 5 crush. So they're weakest against hacking damage. And since women also fall into the category of having a very big, comparatively high hack damage, they can also work against siege engines. I even managed to kill one, kill a siege ram using my 15 women. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay, so swordsman works against siege, spearman against almost any type of unit. Now, every other type of unit, very low pierce damage. That means these guys work against these guys. These guys work, they pretty much work against each other because of their low pierce armor. Same, same goes with the cavalry. And here we have the elephant. Okay. You can you can see here it's a it's a champion type that's why it has, uh, that kind of stats here ten hack ten pierce ten five crush so generally it works against any melee or non siege in infantry okay so that's pretty much it when you're considering pure stats only there is no real clear cut stats. Okay, so this unit count isn't extensive. I only have Carthage. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six basic unit types of Carthage. And some five mercenary types. Actually, there are six, but you have swordsmen already, so I'm going to use that. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Siege engines work 
well against structures because they have such low crush damage that's what they're meant to and you might be thinking that the slingers also have that they were nerfed they were nerfed in this version they have two crush damage but they set it lower uh, they made it one so that it doesn't work against village phase buildings because I'm assuming that there are people who are doing slinger rushes on village phase and those structures can't really go against uh, it's just too imbalanced <laughs> and somehow I, this is one of the the units that I want to have the bone the hard counters how about like this make the crushing damage of a slinger 0.5 and then it says times 2 to infantry cavalry or chariots which I, yeah i don't have chariot units right here because it's carthage and also the persians have their cavalry archers so they don't count here so <laughs> So, this is almost basically it. No real hard countering system, except that you will be now considering the walk speed. Okay? I mean, come on. Now, suppose you have archers, cavalry archers, and you want, you're facing against these type of tanky units. You have the range, right? Rage and advantage, and these guys are meant to be slow. Very slow. They're the slowest unit type in the game. Other other units consider it faster. They're faster. Okay? They walk faster. So that means by the time these guys have walked, right? All the way to the range range, they can just basically they can run away. And once once they give up you can come back and harass them. It's very annoying. It's more tactical. By that time, you you want might want to produce your fa even faster units, right? So I have kind of unintroduced you with a unit counter system, but I am more disgusting of a role playing in a war system. I don't know if that's the intention of the game, but that's how it works for them. We have, if you want people to go to war, a real variance of units still required. You're not going to produce these slow guys just yet. Because it's better to have a group of spearmen to tank the damage, a group of swordsmen. They have faster rate of, uh, they have big, uh, more damage per second. Okay, They hit you faster. They might hit, they might uh tank harder but these guys hit faster so extra damage against other units also the range units they are also arranged by range uh, the javelineers or skirmishers have the shortest range next next will be the slingers and the archers will be uh, will have the highest range although you, you, you can argue from history that slingers can can out outrange the bowmen game balance game balance let's forget historical accuracy for a moment and let's recall let's call that a system of game balance so use tank units and some high dps units uh, to assist and the range ones will also assist in the damage while they're trying to front out right not, not to mention that also that the uh, uh, range units generally walk faster a trade-off. There's also a trade-off. Have the so shortest range, but they're the fastest of the range units. Here. The bowmen, the archers, longest range, but quite slow. I think they're they are as slow as the spearmen. That's how slow they are. And somewhere in the middle are our slingers. So that's how it works. Somehow. Uh, well this is pretty much it I can't really stress it enough but yeah so 
you asked for Axis, uh, I'm kinda sorry that this is what the game provides us for now. Maybe if they will be considering another type of unit system, of course this is Alpha Alpha, Alpha ver version. Game balancing not pretty much a very a beta releasing priority. And of course it's playable. It's very playable so you're wondering how come it's still in Alpha? Well the two things that I think that keeps defining this game as an alpha is that number one the lack of features yes it's th it still lacks a lot of the features that were being planned and number two still not that heavily optimized the pathfinding the pathfinding is still poor and since the formations are also broken the pathfinding uh, bug is magnified by this so those are the three basic things that keep this game in alpha stage. Too many features that are still lacking, pathfinding, and formation. Okay, so if you think that you disagree with my interpretation of the unit counter system, you think that uh, if you want the hard counter system to be back, you might suggest that, but it's better to contribute something to the game first before you guys can consider Oh, change this, change that, change those, add this, remove that Not doesn't work that way pretty much Even though it's open source, everyone can, can contribute There's still ways to do this Okay, so that's pretty much it I go uh, Got any, got any other topics? Got any other suggestions? Anything that I missed? I, I might redo these tutorials, you know. Every each alpha feels like a very different game. And one way to practice my video editing, voice things, anything like that. So, till then, see you guys for now. Later.